The island of San Cristobal is the capital of the Galapagos. It is not the biggest or the most remote, but it definitely has a lot to see. This was the first island visited by Charles Darwin. He had a chance to collect the first species that would later start off the theory of evolution, the San Cristobal Mockingbird. The English named it Chatham because of British Prime Minister William Pitt Chatham. It's the only island with fresh water in town and an airport, so it definitely is the most accessible for tourism. The treks are astounding, the sea lions are friendly, and the marine life is incredible. So today we're going to go scuba diving in the Sleeping Live, which is supposed to be like the best one that they have on San Cristobal Island. The reason why we came to the island was because of El Leon Dormido. It is an imposing vertical sheer wall tough cone that has been eroded in half. The rock is supposed to resemble the figure of a sleeping lion. The steep slopes cut deep into the water, and here you can swim alongside hammerheads, golden rays, octopuses, and schools of fish. So in San Cristobal, we're starting off by visiting La Galapaguera to see more tortoises. Spanish sailors who arrived in 1535 actually named the island after the abundant giant tortoises. The Spanish word for tortoise is Galapago. The giant tortoises are the longest lived of all vertebrates and have incredible survival capacities. These creatures live pretty uncomplicated lives where they normally graze or nap up to 16 hours a day. However, because of their insane metabolism, where they can survive for a year without food or water, tortoises became food hunted by pirates, whalers, and merchantmen. When Charles Darwin arrived, there was about 15 different types of giant tortoises. Now, there's only about 10. So now we're gonna go snorkel in Tijereta. The water is blue and gorgeous. There seems to be no one. Um, apparently there you see lots of sea lions, different fish, maybe a couple of hammerheads if we're lucky. So I'm really excited. Okay, so really quick, while we were walking, we came across a military cannon from World War II. And so I was like, mm, I gotta look that up. And Galapagos actually was a military base during World War II. It was called Base Beta, but it was nicknamed The Rock by US military personnel because if you picked up one rock, there was just two more. So they weren't very happy with that, like the reddish desert landscape. So in 1938, FDR actually visited the Galapagos and in 1941 locals reported seeing German U-boats on the water and by the end of 1941, you guessed it, Ecuador and the US had a agreement where the US would build a military base that would supposedly protect the west side of the Panama Canal. And so actually when you fly into one of the airports in Baltra Island, it's actually a military base or it was a military base. How cool is that? But like, awesome. Okay, so we kind of got confused with the order of stuff and we ended up going to the beach before going up the mountain to see the views. So now we're all very, very sticky from the salt water and still in our bathing suits and climbing up a mountain and it's a little bit... It's cold! 
So something I should mention is that after you go up the stairs, do not turn left. We ended up circling the whole lagoon because it was so misty that we didn't even see the trail. Or the lagoon for that matter, until we arrived to where we started. Valió la pena? Okay, so to be fair, we were not in attire for hiking, so that is probably why they were in a mood, and we also fell a lot. Finish the day in La Loeria where we see a bunch of baby sea lions just, you know, playing going about their day. It's really quite cute. <laughs> so you walk around the beach for about 15 minutes until you finally reach La Loeria. Here you'll find so many sea lions you really won't know what to do with yourself. A cool thing I learned is that in Scottish mythology sea lions can actually shed their skin and take human form. A female would shed their skin and then marry a man. However, if she were ever to find her skin again, she would return to the sea to die. And a quick side note, if you go, please don't touch the baby sea lions because if you do, then they lose the scent of the pack and then the mothers will no longer recognize them as their own, leaving the children to die. So this is the end of the video on Galapagos, San Cristobal. Um, if you guys haven't watched my first two, I have one on I have one on Santa Cruz and then I also have one on Isabela. So if you guys want to go check those out, I hope you do. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I also realized that when I was editing back, uh, I got kind of close to the animals. Please don't get as close as I did. I swear I thought I was like at least a few meters away from them. Clearly I was not. So learn from my mistakes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and move on to your next video, which just hopefully happens to be one of mine. And I hope you'll keep in tune that I will be posting now every single week on Saturdays at 12 p.m.